What's going on everybody? This is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookonbest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. We are down to our last new comic book day before Christmas. A lot of great titles coming out this week, especially if you're a Marvel fan. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Witcher of Flesh and Flame number one. This comes from Dark Horse Publishing. Geralt is summoned by an old friend to help solve a mystery involving his daughter. Upon arriving to investigate, however, Geralt is surprised by another friend from the past, and he soon finds himself transported to regions beyond the original expectations. Remember, there is a new Witcher Netflix series coming out. Also be aware, this isn't the only Witcher comic series. There's been multiple comic series before that. But either way, I'm looking forward to reading this. Love the video game. Looking forward to the Netflix series, so I'm going to pick this up. Aquaman number 43, this gives us a new creative team and writer Kelly Sue DeConnick and art by Robson Rocca. It's got two different covers for it. There's a regular Robson Rocca cover. There's also a regular priced variant by Nicholas Scott. Batman Kings of Fear number 5. Scarecrow's Endgame is in sight. He has created a world without Batman for the Cape Crusader to be tortured by. It's a world controlled by crime where fear always wins. Batman number 61, this is going to have two different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Tony S. Daniel. There's also a regular price variant by Francesco Mattina. I love the Mattina cover on this. Love his artwork, of course, but I also love the red cover on it. Reminds me of the Deathstroke covers that Mattina's done prior to these. So I'm definitely picking that Mattina cover up. Catwoman number 6, and this issue she's forced to take a meeting with the secretive crime boss, Mrs. Creel. And the pitch is work for us or die. We have a regular cover by Joel Jones. There's also a regular price variant by Art Germ. I love the Art Germ cover on this. Love the Christmas cover. I'll be picking that up. Damage number 12. And this issue will damage earn his spot as the world's strongest hero, or will he be branded a villain forever? It's Damage versus the Justice League. Freedom Fighters number one. This is gonna be a 12 issue series set on Earth X where Nazis won World War II. 20 years after invading and occupying America, Germany wiped out all metahuman resistance, including the original Freedom Fighters. We fast forward to present day, and a new team of Freedom Fighters emerges to challenge the Nazi occupation once again, but if they have any chance of victory, they're gonna need Uncle Sam, who disappeared after the original team was killed. There's a regular cover by Eddie Barrows. There's also a regular price variant by Ben Oliver. Love the Ben Oliver cover. That's the one I'll be picking up. Harley Quinn number 56. In this issue, Harley tries to get a bunch of cats adopted, but while doing so, runs afoul at the local pet store, Menopause. Regular cover by Gillen March. There's also a regular price variant by Frank Cho. Nightwing number 55, with the correct regular cover this time by Chris Mooneyham. There's also a regular price variant by Tyler Kirkham. I like the Kirkham for this, that's what I'll be picking up. Teen Titans number 25. In this issue, we've done the secret origin of Crush, the daughter of Lobo. We have a regular Rops and Rocka cover. There's also a gorgeous regular price variant by Alex Garner. I'm picking up the Garner variant. Cold Spots number 5. This is the finale to this miniseries. If you're a fan of horror comics and you haven't read it, I highly recommend you do, especially if you like Cullen Bunn's writing. Either way, looking forward to picking this up. Hardcore number one this is a new series from Image Comics. Imagine being able to take over the body of anyone on Earth. In this issue, they could turn any person into a human drone to get to targets that normal soldiers can't. Drake is the best soldier Hardcore has to offer, but when he gets stranded in a body with only 72 hours to discover who's hijacked the program, who have to pull out all the stops against an enemy who could be literally anyone. This is written by Andy Diggle. It's from Skybound. Anything usually from Image that comes out from Skybound Imprint, I like to pick up, especially at least through the first arc, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. Middle West number two. As Abe and Fox tumble out of Farmington, they must quickly land on their feet, the protections of home are gone, and they find themselves in a hungry, wild new world. First issue was a lot of fun, and it was well received by the comic community. Really looking forward to reading issue number two. The warning number two. The evasion continues as the super soldiers of the Quiet Knife program make their way to ground zero. Spawn number 292. Spawn gets a new power in this issue. It's got three different covers for it. There's a regular Francisco Matina cover. There's a regular priced Francisco Matina virgin variant and a regular priced 
Todd McFarlane black and white variant. Amazing Spider-Man number 12. Jonah Jameson continues to be attacked, and we learn more about the mysterious bandage figure that's circling Spider-Man. There's got three different covers for it. There's a regular Ryan Otley cover, regular price Addy Grenov Galactus Fantastic Four Villains variant, and a regular price Mark Bagley Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant. I like the Grenov, but I do like covers that have something to do with the comic, so I'm going to pick up the regular cover and the Grenov just because I'm a fan of his art. Black Panther vs. Deadpool number 3. This is off with his head. Somebody better keep his head because Deadpool and Black Panther now have a mutual threat on their hands, and if they don't act soon, there'll be no Wakanda left to fight for. We have a regular cover by Ryan Benjamin. There's also a regular price variant for this as well. Captain America number 6. This is bringing the conclusion to Winter in America story arc. There's four different covers for it. There's a regular Alex Ross cover, regular price Fantastic Four villain variant, which I like to call the Gaston variant, regular price Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant, and a regular price Marvel Rising Action Doll homage cover. Dead Man Logan number two. Mysterio means to set in motion the massacre at the crux of Old Man Logan's apocalyptic future timeline. We have a regular cover by Declan Shelby. There's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Dave Johnson. Defenders Best Defense number one. This is the finale for best defense from all the one shot single issues. In fact, this is going to make enough sense that the entire solar system is going to be destroyed unless four very different heroes can come together to stop it. This is going to have six different covers for it. There's a regular Ron Garney cover, regular price Scotty Young Baby variant, regular price Marvel Rising Action Doll Homage variant, a 1 in 25 incentive Arthur Adams variant, a 1 in 50 variant, and a 1 in 200 Sal Buscema Remastered variant. Domino number 9. Domino's luck seems to have a mind of its own sometimes, whether her intentions are noble or not. We're also going to have a very special guest that arrives in this issue to show Domino how it's done. Extermination number five. This is the finale to this series. It's going to have five different covers for it. There's a regular Mark Brooks cover, regular priced Mike Hawthorne connecting variant. There's a one in 10 instead of Pepe Larraz variant, a one in 50 Olivia Coipel classified variant, and a one in 100 classified virgin variant. Infinity Wars number six. This brings us to the end of this mini series. It's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Mike D. Donna Jr. cover. There's a regular price Javier Guerin connecting variant. There's a regular price Jim Bartel Fantastic Four Villains variant, and a regular price Mark Brooks variant. I've really loved Infinity Wars. I really love this Mark Brooks cover. It's got gorgeous art, and it's got the Infinity Warps on the cover, because when Gomorra used the Infinity Stones to fold reality, she created a new universe and the mind-bending unique heroes known as the Infinity Warps. They're on this cover. Love the art, so it's going to be my pick of the week. Killmonger number two. In this issue, Eric Killmonger will have to take a job from the deadliest man in New York City, Wilson Fisk. We have a regular cover. There's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Jeff DeCall. Life of Captain Marvel number five. This got three different covers. It's a regular Tedesco cover, regular price Joe Quinones variant, and a 1 in 25 Carrie Andrews variant. Normally, I would say I like the Carrie Andrews, which I do, but to me, the regular Tedesco cover is phenomenal, so I'm just going to pick that up. Marvel Knights 20th number 4. This is going to ship with three different covers. There's a regular Jeff Shaw cover, regular price Carrie Andrews connecting variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive J. Lee variant. Spider Geddon number 5. This is the conclusion to Spider Geddon. It's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Jorge Molina cover. There's a regular price connecting variant, a 1 in 25 RB Silva incentive variant and a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Vanessa Del Rey. Thor number 8. After waging war on hell, Thor finds himself a prisoner of the fearsome warriors of heaven. There's four different covers for it. There's a regular Mike DeMundo cover. There's a regular price Fantastic Four villains variant, a regular price Conan vs. Marvel heroes variant, and a regular price variant by Carrie Andrews. Walk through hell number 6. This has been a fantastic series so far. This is going to kick off a walk through hell book 2 called The Cathedral. Really looking forward to reading this. Garthenius has been doing a fantastic job. So definitely pick this up if you can. Sparrow Hawk number three. This comes from Boom Studios. With the summer over, the badges return to school to maintain their cover as normal children. But this glimpse into the everyday world forces them to confront a life in which they were never recruited. Die Kitty Die Heaven and Hell number three. This has a regular Fernando Ruiz cover. But 
why I like this and why it's in this video is there's a Dan Parent variant and it's an homage to the classic TV show Bewitched. Love Town number one this is from Devil's Due Publishing. When famed artist Fillmore Hauser is killed at one of his infamous soirees, Detective Saxon must find the murderer. Despite the house being full of guests, nobody saw a thing. Is this Love Town's code of silence at play or is there a more sinister explanation? Ogre number three, this is from Source Point Press that brings us to the finale of this miniseries. This has been great writing by Bob Sally and art by Sean Day. Phantasmagoria Holiday Special 2018. This comes from Starburn Industries. It's based on real folklore from Mexico and the American Southwest. It's just in time for the holidays and it's filling the stockings with three brand new stories about killer toys, haunted snowman, and winter break rituals. Deep Roots number 5, this comes from Vault Comics, you're going to have a regular cover by Danny Strips. There's also a regular price variant by Val Rodriguez. Brendo number 3, this is another fantastic series from Vault Comics. This is going to have a regular cover by Martin Simmons and a regular price variant by Kim McLean. So there it is, those are my picks for new comics that are coming up Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. As always, comment down below, let me know books you guys are picking up, but more importantly, I hope each and every one of you have a very Merry Christmas. This is Brown with Men's Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com and I'll see you guys next week.